Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to our channel, Awakened Faith. In today's video, we will listen to the message of our Lord Jesus to Father Chris Aller. We hope to give you something that is going to help you in your spiritual journey. We pray that God will graciously answer our requests through Jesus Christ, providing us with divine guidance and pouring His love upon us. Before we proceed to the main message, we kindly request you to support our channel by liking this video and subscribing to stay updated with the latest divine messages. Now join me and pray, Father, there is a light that guides us, small and true and bright. Jesus right besides us in the morning, noon and night. He walks upon each place we tread in sorrow or in joy and goes before and walks behind, to catch us if we fall. His presence is so gentle, but if we look we'll see. So many ways He sprinkles grace into the lives of you and me. Encourages forgiveness, mends our broken hearts. Helps us choose to do things right, and walk upon His path. His hope is on our shoulders, lifting us each day. His truth breathes deep within us inspiring us to pray. His love we were just like a cloak of sonship and praise. His everlasting promises are there for us always. And even when the world goes dark and we're lost, cold or afraid. This little light inside us keeps us warm and close and safe. It seems Lord such a miracle that you should walk with me. I choose each day to talk with you and hear you speak with me. Amen. Now we start the message to Father Chris Aller. My child, I urgently convey that the world has entered the time of warning. I am not referring to the time of my visitation, but rather a period of caution that will precede a moment when all of humanity will be humbled to perceive their souls as I do. My child, those who do not acknowledge this time, when evil aspires to ascend but is simultaneously exposed by the truth's light, will share the fate of the foolish virgins. With great urgency, I implore my children to repent and grasp the gravity of this era. I am a god of patterns. Humanity must turn away from wickedness and champion the truth. Those who remain oblivious will be akin to those who disregarded Noah's warnings. I say to my people, shield and safeguard my little ones. As I've cautioned previously, the world bears the guilt of innocent bloodshed due to the negligence of many in protecting them. Woe to those who intend harm to my children through sinful desires. Woe to those who aim to manipulate my creation and my divine plan. It is the moment, my children, to approach the wellspring of my mercy. Those who neglect to draw near and seek the vastness of my mercy will find themselves in the harbor of my justice. Turn away from the darkness and seek the light, for I am Jesus, and my mercy and justice will ultimately prevail. My dear child, all healing originates from the Eucharist. When my children partake of me and humbly adore me, they are enveloped in the mantle of my love. Those who submit to the divine will and place their trust in my mercy will discover that no evil can breach its boundaries. My child, this world is deficient in love. Too many withhold love from others out of fear of rejection, yet I want you to know that I, Jesus, have endured the greatest rejection. This world is disintegrating, and many are awakening to the evil that surrounds them. I caution my children not to be enticed by Satan's promises, for his snares lead to eternal darkness with everlasting consequences. Embrace my light and find the sole source of peace, for I am the Prince of Peace. Let the wicked stumble in their own malevolence, as I assure you that all falsehoods ultimately return to the truth. It is time for my children to live out the gospel message, for the era of revelation has dawned. The line of demarcation has been drawn, and the lukewarm will not receive their eternal reward. One cannot truly progress if they are constantly looking back in fear. 
Those who proclaim readiness for the upheaval of this world lack the faith to wholly surrender to divine providence. My children, the impending warning is a profound act of my divine mercy. It is a wake-up call for all of humanity to recognize the state of their souls as I see them. During this moment, the light of truth will pierce through the darkness of ignorance, and every individual will see their own life in the mirror of my divine justice and love. This is not a time for fear but for reflection and repentance. It is a chance for every soul to examine their actions, their choices, and their relationship with me. The world has strayed far from the path of righteousness, and the consequences of sin have cast shadows upon many hearts. My little ones, as you witness the unfolding events in the world, do not be dismayed. For just as in the times of Noah, I gave humanity a warning before the great flood, I now offer a warning before a great spiritual awakening. The floodwaters may not be of water this time, but a flood of my divine love and truth. I urge you to turn away from the allure of darkness and embrace the light of my presence. Seek reconciliation with me through the sacrament of reconciliation and open your hearts to receive my mercy and grace. I long to heal your wounds, to strengthen your faith, and to guide you on the path of righteousness. As the world becomes increasingly chaotic, remember that I am the Prince of Peace. Cling to me, and you will find the peace that surpasses all understanding, even in the midst of turmoil. Do not be swayed by the promises of the evil one, for his path leads only to eternal darkness and despair. My faithful ones, you are called to be beacons of light in a world veiled in darkness. Defend and protect the innocent, for the blood of the innocent cries out to me stand firm in your faith, trust in my mercy, and know that I am with you always, even until the end of time. The world may undergo a great transformation, but those who place their trust in me will experience the joy and happiness of a new beginning. You are like shipwrecked souls landing on a new shore, and I am with you as your guiding light. Do not fear, for I have conquered the world, and in me, you will find eternal peace and joy. Be my witnesses and never lose hope, for I am with you. Dear Lord, in times of uncertainty and turmoil, we turn to you, our refuge and strength. We seek your guidance and wisdom to navigate life's challenges. Please fill our hearts with your love and peace, that we may be beacons of hope in a world that often feels lost. Strengthen our faith, that we may trust in your divine plan even when the path is unclear. We pray for your healing touch upon those in need and your comfort for those in sorrow. May your light shine through us, Lord, and may we always walk in your grace. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the video. Thank you for listening and God bless you.